Hey, quick update to all you folks that have been asking about my GeoLayers Premium course. You can follow the link in the video description to learn more about that. This video is brought to you by Envato Elements. Stick around to learn more about how you can spice up your next video with some elements from Envato. Today we're going to talk about how to create custom label templates inside of GeoLayers 3, more specifically the proper workflow when you're working with these label templates. I actually had a patron reach out recently who was talking about working with label templates across multiple projects and he was essentially recreating these labels in each project and he felt like it was wasting a lot of time, which indeed it was. So I'm making this tutorial for this guy and all of you other folks out there who are wondering the same thing. I'm going to show you how I work with label templates and I think it's a really good and efficient workflow. So let's get into it. First, I think it's best to look at how GeoLayers handles labels. So here I have a project set up and I already have like a simple animation on a base map here. Let's say I want to label Washington DC. So over here in the GeoLayers panel, you can find label templates over here in this drop down menu. And there's probably what there's like 12 or 13 templates that come by default with GeoLayers. You can actually download other templates that are pre-existing. So if you click on any of these, it's going to import these templates as well, which are very handy. I suggest you check those out. Once you download those, those will populate in this list here. With this default first one selected, I'm going to go search Washington DC and I'm going to add a label. So right here I have the data set and I'm just going to click on this add label shortcut button. And with the template selected, it's going to automatically apply this label, which is going to stick to the map, which is very, very cool. But it creates this little comp here. And the way it works in the project panel is you have all of your GeoLayers 3 items here. If you open this up, you'll notice you have two subfolders, one called Label Templates, one called Labels. If I open up Label Templates, you're going to see a composition for every different template that you saw in the corresponding panel here. This is where all these are populated. And if you come over here to labels, these are showing you the labels that you actually applied or drew out. If you want to create your own templates, you simply create a new composition and then you place it inside of the label template subfolder that will automatically populate it in your drop down menu. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say that we're working on a documentary series, an episodic series, and we want to have our own custom templates that we can apply. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. We don't want to use the default one. So I got some cool overlays from Envato Elements that I want to use in this project. And I'm going to create a label template from this little target here. So let's say I want this to be my city call out. For this, I'm going to grab the element and I'm going to place it over this little icon, which is going to basically put it in its own sequence here. So now it's in its own comp here that fits to the edges of the asset. And you can see if I toggle transparency, it very much has transparency. I'm going to rename this. We'll call it target one. So let's say later we're going to create multiple target like different looks. So now that I have this in its own comp, I'll go and I'll just drag this and drop it straight in label templates. And now if I come over here, you'll very much see target number one is at the bottom. If I select this and now I go back and select Washington and add my label. Now you can see this has been added, but it is ginormous. So I'm going to scale this way down, way down to like 15. Okay, so now this sticks to my map. And if I click on this layer and go to the effect controls, you're going to notice there's like a plethora of different effects and controls that we can play with here. You can have it scale with the map. You can have it rotate with the map and set it to 3D so that it'll actually turn if you want. All different kinds of things that you can do with this here. But let's say now that I'm working on another project and I want to use this template in my new project. What's the best way to do this? So what I like to do is create a standalone project that I call label templates. And then you, you could call it label templates for whatever project you're creating. So what you do in here is you focus specifically on your label templates and have them in the root here. So right here, I've gone ahead and grabbed all these different, I have three specific ones from Envato Elements that I've placed in their own composition. So these are all ready to go, okay? So now I'm gonna save out this project and I'm gonna jump back into my main project and the way that this works is you go over here to the drop down menu and you go to import templates. And now I'm going to navigate to my label templates project, click OK. And you'll see a few seconds something happened. But now if I go down to my drop down menu, you can see I have all three targets here, which is just awesome. And if I go over here to my label template subfolder, you can see that those were added. So this is a really neat and clean way that this imports it. You don't have to manually import it in, in pre-comp it again and then drag it. It just saves you a few steps. But what's really cool is that now if I want to go back, 
I can save this project. But if I want to go back and make changes to those, I would just go back into the label templates project, make the changes, and then re-import them. And when you re-import them, they are going to overwrite the existing ones. And then you can come back and you can just swap them out. And the way that you swap templates out is you grab the template here. Let's say I want to swap this out with target three. So I would just select target three. And then with this label selected, there's a little swap label template button. If I click on that, now you can see it swapped it out with this new overlay. And that is how I work with label templates. Big shout out to my tier three patrons, Tyson, the key master, Mike and Sandra over on YouTube at Flumi Plus One, Barnes Creative Studios, Josh, and Kroki. Thanks folks for making this video possible. With a subscription to Ibotto Elements, you get access to over 56 million assets, including basically whatever you might need when creating a map. For real, they have so much. They have icons, backgrounds, texture packs, isometric map elements, all kinds of After Effects template projects, sound effects music, stock video, stock imagery. They offer a nice and clean, simple lifetime commercial license, which is good even after your subscription ends. Following the link in the video description is gonna give you 50% off when you select an annual subscription, which will give you access to everything on the site for under $20 a month. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you want to see more content like this. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. So if you'd like to know everything there is to know about labels inside of GeoLayers, check out my GeoLayers 3 Masterclass. There's a link down in the video description. Not only do I talk about labels, but I talk about every aspect of GeoLayers 3, and it's great. So go check it out. See you in the next one.